Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we are bringing back a really old series from when I first started my channel, and that is Wet n Wild Wednesday. Now, this isn't gonna be every Wednesday, but I'm gonna try and at least do one or two of these a month. But this series is all about creating looks using only Wet n Wild products. Everything on my face is Wet n Wild. The only thing I used today that wasn't Wet n Wild were some of my brushes and my sponge. But this is uh, a series that I started back in the day because I feel like Wet n Wild is such a good brand. And in with the exception of their foundation shade range, which I think they could do a whole lot better on, they're very inclusive in the drugstore. And, and as far as their there are foundations. I know that this company that owns Wet n Wild, which I believe is Mark Wins, also owns Black Radiance, but I don't understand why they have to be two separate brands. Like, just put all of it together and, and market it, you know, because it's so affordable and it's so easily accessible. It's in Ulta now. It's in, it's showing up in Kroger, Walmart. It, it's just everywhere. And when other brands are inching up towards the $15 to $20 mark, I'm talking to L'Oreal, Revlon, uh, Physician's Formula is super guilty of this. Milani's getting up there. Wet n Wild is cruelty free. They offer a very wide range of products and they're they're under $10. Like all of their products are under $10. So that just speaks volumes to me, just looking at them on the outside. But also as I look at through my collection, I was picking things to use today. Wet n Wild is the only brand where I could do a full face of makeup. After all of my decluttering, and getting rid of all of those other products. Wet n Wild, you know, withstood the decluttering mayhem process both rounds to where I have something in every category. Primers, eyeshadow primers, mascaras, lip liners, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, brushes, I mean powders, eyeshadows, everything. So that's why I wanted to do this series just because it's affordable, it's easily accessible, and again, with, uh, with the exception of their foundation range, I think it's very, very diverse in what they offer and what works on a range of skin tones and undertones. So yeah, so that's why I'm doing this series. I hope you guys are excited. Today, I know we created a very dramatic look last Friday with the Pure Visionary palette. If you've not seen that, I will pop that up in the card so you can check it out. But today, I went for something a little bit softer, still very feminine, very glam. We got some shimmer going on, but still work appropriate. We left off the lashes, left off the liner, and just did some traditional you know, feminine glam. And with, I did use my Color Icon Single in Brulee. You guys know this is my favorite all over lid shade. But I went into two of the old school trios. I went into Walking on Eggshells, which is just a beautiful trio. We used the Shimmery Brow Bone Highlight and the Shimmery Eyelid um, shade. And then I went into this little trio called Knock on Wood. And again, we used the Brow Bone and the Eyelid shade. So if you guys are interested to see how I got this very simple look, this using all Wet n Wild products, then stick around and I'll see you after. All right, guys, it would probably help if I actually hit record to record, you know. Um, I did, I did think I fixed the autofocus. So if I go blurry, I apologize. I'm just, I just, all the autofocusing on the last tutorial was annoying AF. So I'm trying to fix that. So what we're doing, just because this is a relatively simple eye look today, I just wanted to start off with a really clean palette, so I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And I like to put that just right underneath the brow, just because it helps kind of even out any discoloration that I have. And I'm just blending this out with a BH Cosmetics V6 brush. This is from their vegan line. This is just a great little shadow brush. And I'm just going to blend that down about halfway. And for the rest of the eye, I'm going to go in with the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm just going to apply that. I'm just going to get about, ooh, brush not in my mouth. I'm just going to get about that much and just smooth that over the rest of the eye. And take it really into the inner corner as well. So for the two trios that we're using today, there's really not a matte brow bone highlight shade. So I am going to go in with Brulee from Wet n Wild. This is just my go-to... This is my second one of these, and I'm already, I'm already put quite a, I've already put quite a dent in it. But I'm just going to take that same V6 brush, and I am just going to use this to set the primer and the brow highlighter, and just to even out that discoloration, set the primer so that we can get a nice blend. 
I'm gonna take a wet and wild fluffy brush and we're gonna go into the knock on wood trio and I am gonna take the brow bone shade which is this beautiful pinky mauvey dusty rose kind of thing and I'm gonna start just placing that in my transition now I do build this up just a little bit but I am gonna take this all the way across the eye I feel like it's either gonna autofocus the whole time or I'm gonna be blurry I'm gonna just build this up very slowly build it up more towards the outer crease because we are going to have a little bit of that cat eye effect but it's gonna be a little bit more tame today it's because my eyes are not cooperating so you know you gotta work with what you what you got Now I'm gonna take a BR250 brush and we're gonna go into the eyelid shade which is that deep dark plummy shade that leads just slightly burgundy. This is an interesting shade because it also has some brown undertones in it as well. And I'm just gonna start really just working that into the outer third and blending it up. And guys, I do not have perfect eyelids. I have wrinkles and, you know, some loose eyelid skin. So sometimes when I blend, I get those little lines of demarcation. If you're like that, if you have that issue, I find that just doing little circular buffing motions really helps to blend out that shadow and get rid of any of those types of lines. Do not hate yourself for having lines, guys. It's part of life. I feel like I earn every single line on my face. So I'm just gonna build that up. I'm gonna take it over just a little bit more on the lid. And then just really build that up. And we're not taking that over at all. We're just keeping it to this outer portion of the eye and blending it up. Now I'm going to pick up that Wet Mild Fluffy Brush again with no more product on it. And I'm just going to soften up that blend and really even it out. Pita is going bananas. Again, just picking up that brush with no more product. Picking up, um, I'm just building up that color and I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush. Because if you really want that seamless blend, sometimes you just gotta take the extra steps. All right, guys, now we're gonna go into, now we're gonna go into the Walking on Eggshells trio. And we are gonna use, in this trio, this really beautiful brow bone shade and this eyelid shade. So I'm taking a Sephora, this is a precision shadow brush and I am picking up that eyelid shade. And these shades are a little bit powdery, but that's okay. I'm gonna pick some up on my brush and I'm going to spray it down with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. And then I'm just going to place that all over the eyelid. And I am going to, I am going to bring this up above my crease. And then once I have applied the shadow wet, I'm gonna go back in and just pick up some more without wetting down my brush. And then I'm just going to pat it on to set that wet eyeshadow and to really build up the intensity. And that's just how you guys will see me do that all the dang time. I'm just gonna take that same brush and wipe it off in my little color switch dupe and now I'm gonna do the exact same steps with the eyelid shade, or sorry, the brow bone shade. And we're just gonna take that right in the inner corner in the very inner portion of the eyelid. This is really just gonna brighten it up and create a nice gradient. You could just use that lid shade, but I gotta be extra, sorry guys. Again, I'm gonna pick up some of that shadow dry. And just pat it over where I placed it wet. Now I'm just gonna pick up that brush again with no more product on it and just really kind of do the pat and wiggle with whatever products left on that brush to make sure that I have a nice seamless transition. And this eyelid is actually more intense than this one. So I'm gonna go back in to that knock on wood 
right? No, Walking on Eggshells palette. And I'm going to pick up the eyelid shade, which was the more pinky shade. And I'm just going to go back in and build it up. So this is what you do, you know, if something's uneven, you can always go back and fix it. It's just eyeshadow. For mascara today, I'm going to first go in with my Lash Renegade, which is upside down. Sorry about that. Lash Renegade, and we're going to build up just some volume with this mascara. And then I'm going to go in with my Max Fanatic to just add a little bit of length. We're gonna let the eyes be for a minute, so I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna start on the face. All right guys, before I started, I did prime my face with my Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. This is like a nice, I feel like moisturizing lotion type primer, but it has a little bit of stickiness, which I really like, because I feel like it helps foundation cling a little bit better. But I did want that to sit while I was doing my eyes, so that is already on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Now, I actually have two shades because I feel like one is a little bit too yellow and one is a little bit too pink. I'm in the shade, I, I mix the shades Nude Ivory and Rose Ivory. So I'm just going to mix those. I really like the finish of this foundation. I just don't like that it breaks down so quickly on me. And believe it or not, I'm just now realizing I have never ever used this foundation with the coverall primer so that is probably a big bad mistake on my part not smart it's a good look i'm going to go in with my real techniques miracle complexion sponge and just start blending those in where i feel like this foundation really breaks down on me the most is right around my t-zone which is really weird for me so like my nose, chin, forehead, because I don't have oily skin. I have very, very dry skin. So I'm not quite sure what my major malfunction is. Like I said, it could just be that I was using it with the wrong primer. But it could just be that this foundation just doesn't, you know, work for me in the long run. But I know a lot of people really do like it. And again, the finish on it is really beautiful. And I like that it's a medium coverage that's buildable. Because I feel like it's not too heavy on the skin at all. I do want to build this up just a little bit where I've got some unevenness. So I'm just going to take some of the rose ivory down the center of my face and along my cheeks. Now I'm going to go in with my Photo Focus Corrector, Concealer Corrector, and I'm in the shade Ivory. Now I didn't like this at first because when I first tried it, see it is darker than, than, than like, I feel like it's darker than the foundation, which is not very helpful on its own. However, I do like to mix it with my Wet n Wild Concealer pen which I just ran out of but I have backup so grab that. So I love this concealer pen. It's called the Illuminati concealer pen and I highlighting and concealing pen is what it's called. Hello, get your life together. And I'm in the shade Ivory Into You and I love this pen. Hold on while I click this up for 5 hours. I just feel like it adds so much brightness and if you have kind of more of a yellow toned concealer feel like this one's a little bit more rosy so again it's just helpful to even out and brighten up darker concealers see I don't know how it does it because it doesn't look lighter when you're applying it but as you blend it out it gets lighter it's weird but I'm not complaining so the next product I have absolutely no reservations about, and it's the Photo Focus Powder, and I'm in the shade Warm Light, and I love this. And I'm just going to take this on an e.l.f. small taper brush just to set underneath the eyes. And then I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush to set the rest of the face. I have hit pan on this. 
I should have repurchased this today when I was repurchasing the primer and the setting spray. I'm not smart. I feel like this powder just gives the most beautiful natural finish and lasts all day. I love it. So good. All right, I'm going to go back in that back in with that V6 brush and just reiterate the highlight underneath the brow bone again just to make sure there are no harsh lines and everything's blended out again this is getting a little dark so we're going to use this as an eraser shade i'm going to take that br 250 brush one more time just to reiterate the outer corner and blend it out soften up the edges sometimes it can get a little harsh when you apply your foundation I'm going to take that ultimate brow highlighter one more time and just line my lower lash line or water line. I'm sorry. And now for my lower lashes, I'm just going to go in with my favorite lower lash mascara, which is the wet and wild mega length. I love this. It's just perfect in my opinion. All right, guys, now let's work on the rest of the face. So I am going to go into my wet and wild contour color icon contour palette. Um, these are different now, but I do prefer using these just, uh, the older ones just because they are more suited to my skin tone. This one is in Dulce de Leche, I believe is how you say that. Uh, let me know. Somebody's told me I was saying it wrong. So educate me, <laughs> but, um, you can use the new ones. They do have the new ones, which do work for fairer skin tones. I just like these better cause they're a little bit cooler. So I'm just going to take my Sephora powder brush and I'm not doing a, I'm very, very lightly, I'm barely touching my face. I just want to add a little bit of warmth, uh, or a little, I'm not warmth, I'm sorry, definition to my face. So just very, very lightly. This is a simple look, so we don't need to go crazy. And I am just going to take that up around my forehead. just around my jawline. I like using this big fluffy brush um, just because I can't get too heavy handed with it. I mean, I'm sure I could, but it's a little bit more difficult. And I do want to warm up my face just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with my color icon bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. Same brush. I'm barely dapping into it. I'm going to uh, tap that off and just take this right above where I place that cons uh, contour and just taking that around. For blush today, I wanna go with just something softer. So I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in pr the Princess Daiquiri's on a V2 brush. This is just a lighter, fluffier brush. This is, these ombre blushes are very illuminating. They're very light, so on deeper skin tones, I feel like they'd be more of a highlight or blush topper, but I do like them as blushes on my skin. For highlighted, highlighter today, I'm going to go in with this highlighter. This is the one of, from the Fergie collection. It was called Rosé Champagne Glow. They have now repackaged this. I'm not sure what it's called now, but I'll, I'll put it in parentheses down below. And I'm just going to take this on, a, on my sponge and just apply this right on top of where I applied the blush. And just right around the tail of my brow. This is such a pretty highlight and I feel like it doesn't get nearly the hype as the Mega Glows. I don't think it's as good formula wise, but it's such a pretty color. I do have a new favorite brow product and it is the Wet n uh, of course it's the Wet n Wild. It's the Ultimate Brow Retractable Pencil. I love this. Um, this is what it looks like. It's one of those kind of triangular shape doohickeys. I got the shade Ash Brown. And this is the perfect color in my brows. I absolutely love this product. It's soft and almost powdery, but it's not really emollient. It doesn't move around. It stays in my brows all day long and I absolutely love it. So I just outline my brows and I go through and comb through them with the brush on the other side. And I have, this is the only product I've been using since I picked it up about what, two weeks ago. Love it.
And just to finish everything out today, I'm going in with my liquid cat suit in Rebel Rose. All right, everybody, so this is the finished look, again, using the Knock on Wood and the Walking on Eggshells trios from Wet n Wild, along with all the other Wet n Wild products. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think about this tutorial, about the series, and if let me know if you have any recommendations down below. I know that Blue Had Me at Hello, Liv, I can definitely do a fun, more dramatic uh, look with that one because I love that palette. It just inspires me. But let me know what you want to see down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, thank you so much for hanging out and playing with makeup with me. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Have a rockin' week, and I will see you next time. Bye!